fellow Scorpios, welcome to your April reading. This is going to include some moon information and astrology based for April 2020. Um, but I will say that this reading is for Scorpio Sun Moon Rising. However, the full moon and the new moon information works best for your rising sign. So if you are Scorpio Rising, perfect, this will apply. If you're, for instance, Libra Rising, maybe go and check out that for the moon information. Just for a little bit of... Um, basic groundwork there. So for April 2020, the full moon, the super moon actually, is going to be in Libra, which is in your 12th house on the 8th of April. Now, the 12th house is mainly to do with enlightenment, faraway lands, it's sometimes um, the house of bad luck, um, but it's mostly the house of releasing and the house of um, almost like ascension. It can also be hospitals and feeling a little bit like, you know, there's too many things on your psychic plate really. So this, with it being a super moon, it could be that you're feeling under the pressure a little bit of everything that's going on. Maybe things that you've pushed to the back of your mind will now come to the forefront. Um, and also you may see some endings, not on the huge scale, but just some little endings like, oh, this idea I had, I don't think is working anymore. Or, oh, this is what I thought, but now I don't think that way. So it could be some minor things that are going through and you could have some spiritual or psychic revelations with that as well so the new moon is in your sister sign of taurus now taurus is your seventh house now this is of relationships um romance spouse um business partners you know partnerships basically but it's also to do with foreign countries so obviously there's lots of um foreign countries in the news international things you may see this um spike around this time or some news around there you could hear from a friend who is abroad even um but the new moon in 24th or 23rd depending on where you are this is very much going to be an orderly collective you know this is going to be very strong focused determined trying to do certain things um and i do feel that there's going to be some enlightenment here you may feel more like you can connect with others on a one-to-one -one basis you may feel like you have generated more ideas mainly because something that you've put into action here is finally sort of starting up again and you see things from an entirely new perspective in something else that you can put into effect from then. I hope that makes sense. Um, but it's definitely a time for you to just take a look and see if there's something that you want to do with a partner or a spouse or the public as well. It could be that you're dealing with the public a lot around this time and how you vocalise your opinion, on, especially on social media or around the workplace. So, you know, it could be that some things um, you plan to do as well are getting sort of formulated and being very strong and I do feel Venus is going to be quite a strong element here as well so definitely keep an eye on the new moon of April 2020 and now we're going to go into your tarot reading which will cover all of Scorpio rising moon and sun sign okay let's see what's going on Scorpio in April 2020 We have the Eight of Pentacles, we have the Lovers, we have Strength, and we have the Nine of Cups. Wow, okay. Did not expect all these positive cards, however, it does not surprise. Mm. Let's see. Okay. To be honest, I feel like you're doing pretty well in April. I know it may not seem like it right now. <laughs> um, simply because of all the news and the panic and the this and that and the other. And yeah, it's difficult to have a positive attitude. But I do think you have one. Uh, April seems to be something where you feel like you're getting to grips with something. You may have taken some time off or, you know, been forced into time off um, in order just to connect a little bit more with certain aspects of what you're doing and trying your best to understand what works for you because she's, um, I don't know whether you can see it, but she's trying to um, fiddle and 
concoct things and make something of this. It could be that you're a witch like myself and you're trying to um, figure out a way or a practice that works for you. It could also be that you're spending time on a very focused project. Um, but the Eight of Pentacles is often about education, engagement, change, trying to figure things out and repeating a, a process until you're satisfied with it. So it could even be working on a relationship because you have the lovers here. It could be working on communication with Gemini because this is also the card of Gemini. Um, but I do feel that the lovers coming through here is about your personal beliefs and your values. And like I say, it could be that you're realising that something that you didn't quite see clearly is now being clarified for you and this is giving you strength and that's giving you the power to manifest i feel like you've had a bump in the road um, and that's not just because i'm a scorpio too um i just feel like there's been a bump in the road you feel very maybe disappointed with something or um angry with something it could be the situation that we find ourselves in at the moment um but i do feel that you're committing to something you're committing to pursuing something you're not letting it drag you down as though this is the final ever <laughs> you know it's not, this is the final thing ever we can't do this anymore um so what i think is you're gaining strength from either your connections with others or you're finding people who think the same way as you or you're regaining a sense of yourself that maybe you'd lost before and this is through practice maybe looking into how you can connect with you know something like a hobby that you gave up a while ago or you know it could be something simple but I do think this if I can get it strength is definitely one to watch um i feel as though this is quite important for you to focus on your inner strength um don't deplete it this is also about patience and soft control of a situation so you can only control what is personally yours so for instance i'm going to use the thing again you can write the book and you can send it to people you can't make them buy it you know, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. So you can control what you can control. Don't try and extend that strength into other things, or else you'll find yourself depleted. So please try and apply that for this month. And then we have the Nine of Cups, which is the manifesting card. This is the wish card. This is your comfort satisfaction. So you probably now you know what you want or now you're working towards what you want you'll find that you manifest things a lot quicker or you know clearer what to ask for and how to ask for it which is very important when you're dealing with the universe and very important when you're trying to manifest something that for you in the in the, you know you may be thinking oh it's selfish to manifest something for myself when there's everything going on in the universe you know everything that's going on in the world but there still needs to be some kind of, there still needs to be you, basically. So if you, you need to be happy. So I think this is basically what it's saying is that you allow yourself to be happy, allow yourself to be strong and allow yourself to wish for things. You don't have to be the world's healer. You can help, but you don't have to be the world's healer. It's not your job to completely solve everything. So again, control what you can control. It may be that you want to bring something into the world. It may be that you want to experiment with something or, you know, do something nice. The world needs that, you know, so just explore your options a little bit. Awakening. Okay. Energetic upgrades, a new way of being and integration. Yeah, so that kind of matches, especially around the new moon here which is in Taurus in the seventh house. There could be a feeling of, you know, you're feeling more from the full moon there's something that's not quite right. Maybe there's an enlightenment coming up and then you actually put it into effect from the from the new moon at the end of April. So that definitely feels like it's coming almost full circle for you. They want me to take the top. Unbound. Wow. So they're both in the air and there's a full moon here. So again, you unbind yourself from something here. Releasing soul patterns, contracts, past lives. You release that. And then here you awaken from it. So it's almost like you're coming out of a sleep from the full moon to the new moon, beginning and end of April. This is a very karmic time, I think. Very karmic time. And it's you going through a process of this awakening, of this figuring things out and how you want to do it. It's very important. 
Ooh, well, I hope that was helpful for you. Do let me know in the comments below how you're getting on. I'd love to hear from you. And if you're interested in a personal or private reading about anything at all, all that information is in the description box below as to how to get one. But in the meantime, be safe and be kind to each other and love each other. Take care.